I'm in 2024, shot a shot by Zell, Majin Zell. Um, so tell me about Zell, though. How did you meet Ooh. Zell? Zell. Uh, you remember the cypher I did? You remember the cypher? Mm -hmm. So boom, I had lined up two camera guys two weeks beforehand. Okay. I had already lined up the spot. Uh, mm -hmm. Shout out to uh, Lucky Luciano, okay. my man, easily. Um, everything was perfect. Everything was right. Man, 11.45 the night before, mm -hmm. 12 hours before the shoot, both camera guys canceled on me. Both of them, like mysteriously. Like Any particular just, reason? Or yeah, just... one of them. Um, I mean, you got to put the vendors out there. Please. One of them. Nah, I don't even know, you don't know who they are. Oh, I can okay. say what I say. Yeah. I know these people. <laughs> um, one of them had got a really bad head cold. Oh, damn. And I was COVID. I'm like, ah, uh, right, yeah. I don't know you what that there, is. You yeah. stay there. <laughs> then the other guy, I've been hitting him all day. And he been on social media all day, but I ain't heard from him. That'd be the worst, boy. I see you post something, but you don't reply to the text. And you using the same phone to make the post. So it was 12.05. I'll never forget this. It was 12.05. And I'm scrolling through, and Zale just appears. I ain't know Zell before this. We were Facebook oh, okay. friends, but yeah. and we might have been, we, we in the same area. But you didn't know him personally, right? Mm -mm. Okay. And I seen him with a camera. He, he had a picture with a camera and a bag. Okay. I just inboxed him. And I was like, yo, I'm doing this tomorrow easily. I'm shooting a cypher. I need a cameraman. What you want to do? <laughs> All right, I'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> just he didn't ask no questions, didn't ask no nothing. Oh, he's not with it. Boom, he pulled up the next day and you got the cypher. End of the year cypher, yeah. you, know, you got it. Yeah. And since then, we've been locked in. He was actually the first person that Double Egg really just grabbed up. Okay. I saw Zell before I think anybody else saw Zell. And I said that on camera, Zell, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I been said Zell was fired. From the, even after the cypher, and I went back and we talked and we met mm -hmm. up and you know, we kind of kicked it. And I seen his work, Zell been fired. Okay. And I just feel like my creativity mixed with his already given talent is just like, it's, it's still sharp and steel. Mm. I feel like I make him sharpen up on that video. Right. He makes me tighten up on this side. Okay. So it's like. Okay, he a younger guy, older guy. I, I don't even know what he looks like. Miss, I tried to get him to come to this because nobody knows who Zale is. I keep yeah. telling this. Zale, we gonna drop an interview with just you. I want Mike to shoot it. Mike, after this, <laughs> we gonna start looking like nothing. Zale is younger I than I follow him. I don't <laughs> man, Zale's 27. Oh, Zale, okay. I'm gonna say Zale's 26, 27. Okay. Got dreads. Uh -huh. he's, got a, he's got a Majin tattoo right here. Okay, because I seen that as his logo from Dragon Ball Z. He's really got it. Right oh, okay. there. <laughs> and you would never know Zell was Zell. You could walk past Zell and not know that's the guy that's putting out what you've been watching. Okay. So shout out to Zell, fine. man. So y'all just tag teaming it. Y'all just, hey, we're doing this and we go. Everything. Anything that I do that involves me, mm -hmm. I put Zell involved. Okay. Like even when somebody calls me, like somebody calls me just for bail, mm -hmm. nah, man. I need Zell too. Oh, uh, that, okay. Just because that's my guy. Mm -hmm. I feel like Zell was the first, one of the first few people that wanted to work with me when he knew I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, gotcha, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, um... So, like, y'all mutually gave each other a shot, so to speak. Yeah, basically. Uh -huh. Like, Juice Proof shot at TBS Studios. We shot the Dad Group Project. Mm -hmm. He's the first one to give me a real shot. Okay. And then it was, like, um, Jeb Street Capital, where we shoot mm -hmm. um, the, TV, the, the TV show. Mm -hmm. And then it was, like, Zell. Zell was one of the few peers that I met that knew... I couldn't, you know, I ain't, I ain't balling. I ain't yeah. got no Lambo truck. We ain't doing none of that. Well, I ain't just, none of us got none of that. I just got hard work for you in a dream. Uh, yeah. And he signed up for it, and then we've been hard working in a dream. Like okay. I said, Bell and Zell, that's one of my most, almost fire shows right now yeah. because that POV vlog, yeah. you know, right there where you need to be at. So how did y'all come up with the Bell and Zell vlogs? SC Lofa. We was at SC Lofa, and mm -hmm. I was trying to figure out a transition between Somebody asked me a really good question. What's the difference between the Dad Group Project and Bellings Random Ramps? I think you asked me that. I might have. And I sat on that for a long time. I was like, damn, am I really doing two shows? So then I was like, let's not do the Dad Group Project podcast. I'm going to do a live audience show. Okay. So then that made that look way different than Bellings Random Rants. Ah, uh, I got you. Okay. And then Bellings Random Rants, we always had this leftover B-roll. Mm -hmm. And then vlogging is a quick way to get views. Mm -hmm. People's attention span is short. Mm -hmm. If you can make somebody watch eight minutes and some music behind it and let them see what they want to see, they're going to tune in. Uh, and then you. before you know it, we was taking our B-roll. Now you got vlogging with Bell and Zell, and you get a Bell and Random Rants. So it's like you always get a uh, double yeah. drop okay. from us. So, mm -hmm. so, but how did that, how did, so that's how that, the uh, Rants came. 